Your show, it's your favorite show. It's probably your dog's favorite show. All you need here is a great memory and super concentration skills. Let's meet the stars of the show. You know them as the Brainiacs. Danny is the quarterback on the junior varsity team at his school. Up one, up two, slap. Nick loves slapstick movies. He'll love the new film, Jeff Falls Down the Brain Drain. Erin started singing opera when she was eight. I wonder if she knows the Phantom. Athena can touch her toes to the back of her head. Talk about bending over backwards. Z is a sleepwalker. Let's hope she's awake today. And Timmy spends up to 30 minutes each morning doing his hair. Lucky for him, slime makes great hair gel. One of you guys today is going home a brain search champion. Have a chance at thousands of dollars in prizes plus sliming of a lifetime. But the rest of you, there is only one way out of here, and it is down the brain drain. You guys are ready. I'm ready. I hope you're ready at home. I'm going to head over to the brain center so we can get started. Level one. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Yeah. Of course you can, I got an outrageously large head. This first level is full of visual puzzles that are gonna test your ability to see things quickly. You're gonna use that special game pod you got in front of you to lock in your answers. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points are gonna advance to level two. I'm ready to kick things off with a 10 point puzzle, how about you? Okay, remember, pay close attention to these instructions. These penguins are about to embark on a fish-eating frenzy. Keep track of which one eats the most fish. Which penguin ate the most fish? All right, what'd you guys think? Easy, right? Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, yeah, right? Yeah. Awesome, yeah. penguins, easy. All right, simmer down. <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. <laughs> oh! Number two. All right, let's see who got it right. Oh, Danny's the only one. Show him the guns, Danny, show him the guns. That's right. 10 points to Danny. Okay, this next puzzle's worth 20 points. Here it comes. Check out these cards. Which number from the bottom row does not appear in the top row? All right, Timmy, I hope you got this one right because I noticed at the beginning of that, you were like breaking it down to the song. Sh show me the moves you just had at the top of that song. Yeah, that's exactly it. Nice moves. Let's see what the correct answer is. We do the old card shuffle. Boom! Yeah. Seven is the correct answer. Wow! Athena, you're psyched about that, huh? Yeah. Nick, Aaron, and Z should be too, because they just got 20 points. Shake it off, Danny. Shake it off, Timmy. Don't worry about it. Timmy, you need to get on the board, and I have just the idea. It's going to be right here in this puzzle, because it's worth 30 points. Pay attention. 33. I went to the barber shop the other day and got the world's worst haircut. <gasps> Check out the number he shaved into my hair. What was the number he shaved into my hair? All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, two, two, seven, six, six. Let's see who got it right. Athena and Aaron, congratulations. And those 30 points are actually going to put you guys in first place, tied with 50 points apiece. Z and Nick, you guys are tied with 20 points apiece. Danny, you got yourself 10 points. And Timmy still needs to get on the board. All right. <laughs> this is going to be Timmy's puzzle right here. And I know this because it's worth 50 points. Have a look. Check out these four phones. Pay attention to which phone has which ringtone. Now, check out this ringtone. 
Which phone does it belong to? All right, if, if you think you've got this answer correct in the honor of the cell phone, put your ear to the camera. All right, everyone's feeling confident. I like that. Let's see what the correct answer is. It was number four. Boom! 50 points for everyone. But Nick, guess what, Timmy? You're on the board, and what a puzzle to do it with. Aaron and Athena still tied for first with 100 points. Z's got 70. Danny's got 60. Timmy's got 50. And Nick has got 20. We are down to our final puzzle, guys, all right? I know we're having a good time, but this is it. After this, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to the next level, and the other two of you are going down the brain drain. This puzzle right here, the one I'm going to show you, is worth 100 points. It's anybody's game. Pay attention. Take a look at this maze. There are four exits, one on each side. Keep track of which exit the mouse uses. Which exit did the mouse use? <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. 100 points on the line in a little thing I like to call a replay. Take a look at that compass up there in the corner. We'll put the mouse in the middle. And he's off. North, east, and north again. Correct answer is number two. Let's see who got it right. I see Athena doing a little cheering, and she's the only one that's getting 100 points. Well played. Okay, it's time to find out which four of you are moving on to level two, and which two of you are going down the brain drain. In first place with 200 points is Athena. Congratulations. In second place with 100 points is Aaron. In third place with 70 points is Z. All right, here it is, guys. There's three players left and only one more slot. In fourth place with 60 points is Danny. Congratulations, you're moving on. Timmy, Nick, you guys played an awesome game. And before we send you down the brain drain, let's see what you've won. Congratulations! You've won iCarly and Naked Brothers Band DVD! iCarly Season 1, Volume 1, and the Naked Brothers Band Season 1. All that, and a bucket of slime! There's only one way out here, and it is down the good old brain drain! Nick and Timmy, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it! Here comes Nick! Put their massive minds to the test on level two. Don't go anywhere. Woo! Welcome back to Brain Search. I have got to get me one of those chairs for my apartment. Congratulations to the four of you brainiacs for making it to this level. I know you guys, you guys know you guys, but do the people at home know you guys? No, and that's why we're gonna interview you and find out a little bit about you. Athena, did you really fall from a second floor staircase? Yep, and a plant caught me. I was two years old and there was no handrail, and this tiny little plant picks me up, sets me down, then snaps back up. <laughs> that's amazing. Aaron, you had a cell phone mishap, do tell. Yes. I walked into the stall of a restroom, and I turned around really quickly, and all of a sudden, the next thing I knew, my cell phone was stuck in the toilet. I don't even want to know if you had gone to the bathroom in there already, so let's just no, leave don't it worry, at I that. Didn't. Okay. <laughs> Z, let's just hear you make dolphin noises. Yes, oh, I, I do. I've got to hear this. Hello, I love it. <laughs> wow, that is awesome and creepy all mixed into one bowl. <laughs> I wish I had, like, a fish or something to throw you, you know? 
Danny, word is you had a little wardrobe malfunction during a dance battle with your friend. Oh yeah, you know, you know, I was doing my tight moves, you know what I'm saying? And then um, he, he goes to come back and then acts like he's gonna turn around and then just pants me and I'm just stuck there like in oh, front of everybody man. and I'm just like, Brian, my brain is like, Danny, pick up your pants and my, and my body's like. You heard dance off, you heard pants off. No harm, no foul. <laughs> to the gameplay! Level two. All right, guys, on this level, I'm gonna tell you a story from my big book of truth. You know it, you love it. Don't pretend like you don't. It's probably your favorite. On your feet, it's story time. Listen and pay close attention to the story I'm gonna tell you because afterwards, you're gonna be asked some questions. And remember, everything that I'm about to tell you and read you from this book is absolutely 100% true. Once upon a time, there was a magical kingdom called Dumalot. It was guarded by the Knights of the Wrong Table, and they were so lame, they couldn't even remember who sat where. Even dumber was King Farter, who spent the day sitting on his not-so-royal throne. The court wizard, more on the magician, was always turning princes into frogs, leaving no suitable suitors for the poor Princess Gwyneth. One day, a dragon convinced the Dumalot guard that he was a pizza delivery man. After entering the castle, he kidnapped the princess. And then the king issued a proclamation. Whomever pulls the lance from the log and rescues the princess will be crowned prince. Then I, Jester, the court jester, pulled it out with one hand. The knights all laughed because I didn't even have a horse. But what I did have was a two-horned unicorn named Corndog. I rode into the valley of the winged serpents and arrived at the dragon's lair. When he saw me, he laughed. That lance will make a perfect toothpick after I eat you. Unfazed by a talking dragon, I used my lance to pole vault onto his neck. He flew in a corkscrew trying to shake me off, but I was well versed in dragon tickling and caused him to crash. I rescued the princess, got back the pizza money, and became the prince. And that's my story, and it's all true. Okay, to lock in your answers, you're gonna have a seat. If you sit down and you hear this, that means you're right. If you hear this noise, Athena, could you have a seat and demonstrate? Uh-oh, that means you're wrong and you're gonna wanna hang on for the ride. We're gonna keep doing that until we're down to two players, all right? We clear? Athena, we're gonna start with you. How many horns did the unicorn have? Two. Have a seat, let's find out. Very nice. Aaron, what did the court wizard turn the princes into? Frogs. Have a seat. Very nice. All right, Z. King Farther's throne was shaped like what? Time's running out. I need an answer? Corn dog? Corn dog. Let's find out. Danny, same question to you. King Farther's throne was shaped like what? A toilet. A toilet. Let's find out. You got it, Danny. Athena pressure's on. Dumalot was guarded by the knights of the wrong... Table? What? Let's find out. Nice job. All right, Aaron. What did I pull out of a log? A sword? The correct answer is actually a lance. Athena, Danny, guess what? 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 Time for a knockout round. <laughs> knockout round. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you stay in the game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to memorize this board. And your 10 seconds starts right now. Sound means time is up. All right, Athena, what's your first number? Five. Five. And, and 14. And 14. The beautiful <laughs> princess, Danny. One. One. And seven. And seven. There it is, it's a match. Back to Athena. Three. Three. And six. And six. You Five. got yourself a match, Danny. Two. Two. And 12. And 12. Oh, okay. 
We have just entered sudden death territory. The next right answer is moving on to the next level as Brain Search champion. Athena, what's your first number? Um, 16. 16? And 12. And 12. Boom! Corn dog, the unicorn! Congratulations, you're today's Brain Search champion, Danny. You played a great game, but you know what that means. Have a seat and hang on. And there he goes. Athena, you are moving on to the next and final level. You got your chance of thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming that is going to go great with your hair. Let's see what Z, Aaron, and Danny want for making it this far. Congratulations, you won tickets to Medieval Times. Inspired by the 11th century feast and tournament, the guests are served a four-course medieval feast as they watch knights joust and display tests of skill. There's only one way out of here, and that is down the brain drain. Z, Aaron, Daddy, come on down. Here comes Z. Thanks for playing, Z. Aaron is out. Athena can find the path to victory on level three, the final stage. Don't go anywhere. Hello, welcome back to Brain Surge. I am Jeff. This right here is Athena. She's cleared the first two levels. Nice, well done. How are you feeling? I am feeling extremely excited. Yeah, I'm feeling excited. All right, you're about to play the final stage where you could win thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming you're never going to forget. Level three, the final stage. All right, Athena, this level's got three parts, each one more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and then recreate it by stepping on the right squares. For example, that means you're right. That means you're wrong, and you have to come back here and start all over. Now, once you complete the first path, you're going to step on that button right up there, and that's going to, boom, stop the clock. At which point, this floor is going to open up to a beautiful 5x5 five five grid, and the second path will be revealed to you. Complete that path, and you will be faced with the hardest path of them all, the magnificent 6x6 six six grid. Here's what you could win. Complete the 4x4 four four and win a digital camera. Grit and share your photos instantly with a 10 megapixel digital camera and the Polaroid Coco Instant Mobile Printer. All from Polaroid. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a Diamondback bike. Ride trails with the new aluminum Diamondback response and luck. These all-mountain hardtail bicycles deliver dirt-friendly performance and 24 speeds from Diamondback. Complete the 6x6 six six and win a Lake Tahoe getaway. To Lakeland Village Resort in Lake Tahoe, an all-season beach and mountain resort with skiing, mountain biking, hiking, horseback riding, and many more lake activities. All right, this is it, Athena. Okay. We need to put 90 seconds on the board, and it's floating right up there. If you could grab it, toss it up on the clock. There you go. Here's your first path. All right, you're gonna see it twice. And the clock is going to start when you make your first step. Good luck! She's off. Stop that clock! Hey! And just like that, five seconds later, you got yourself a camera. And as promised, here's the 5x5. Five five. This is for the bike. Take a look at this path. Fast. It is fast, but here it is again. <laughs> what can I say? I got a heart of gold. All right, clock's gonna start again when you make your first step. Good luck. Oh, dang it, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, okay, here it is again. Oh, okay, so this means I got it. All right. We got some big steps here. She's doing it. Yeah! Oh, just like that! You got yourself a bike and a camera. Oh. 
<clears throat> the six by six. You have 62 <sighs> seconds to complete this path. And you want to complete this path yes, I do. because you want to go to Tahoe. You want to get slimed. Am I right? I, you are right. All right, we're giving out high fives left and right. Yep. Here's your path. Take a look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, but very doable. <laughs> very doable. You have 62 <laughs> seconds left. All right, Athena, have at it. Wait, can I see it again? No, you <laughs> cannot. <laughs> You're doing great so far. How about it, crowd? Come on, we need it. OK, here it is again. You get your wish. You get to see it again. There you go. OK, go. Take a look. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. You got 38 seconds left. Making some big steps. Big steps. She's getting close. All right, hurry back. Here you go. A little bit puzzle. You're very close. Here, two more left. 20 seconds left. The crowd's on your side. Give them a show. Athena. Give them a show. They want to see you do it. One more shot at this, okay? Just five seconds, go! Hurry, hurry, three, two, one! Oh, Athena, come on over! You see this right here? That's how close you were, but you know what? You got yourself a camera. You got yourself a mic, and you wanted a mic. And you know what? There's only one way out of here, and it's down the brain drain. So watch your head on over there. And I'll meet you there. Thanks for watching. That's all the time we have for Brain Surge. Tune in next time. We have six new Brainiacs go head to head to head to head to head to head on Brain Surge. Thanks for watching. Make me New York. Time Rush is on their way to the top. We're halfway there. We're looking good now. Nothing's gonna get in the way. But tonight... If your demos don't get picked by the record company tomorrow, you're going back to Minnesota. What? what? They could be on their way home. You don't want to go home. You want to stay here. And get famous. Yeah, about that. How far will they go to stay in L.A.? Find out in a brand new Big Time Rush. Right after I Fix a Pop Star. Tonight at 8. Only on Nick. Mm-hmm.